welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great um it's been a while i know i've had work and school keeping me on my toes um but i am graduating in a week so i'm finally gonna be done with my undergrad hopefully i actually have more time on my hands um but yeah i found time today to sit down with you guys and share this long awaited book haul i have had these books just like stocked on my desk and these shelves for like weeks and i've been wanting to film this video and i'm like found time today we're gonna do it it's gonna happen so i'm pleased to share with you guys my little book haul i also have two items that are non-bookish related but i did want to still share it with you guys and i also have my fairy loot october 2022 box i didn't put any of the items away so i was like okay we'll just i'll show that as well so yeah no more talking let's get into it so the first two items are going to be the non-bookish ones for those of you who don't know i am a huge marvel fan i post my marvel tiktoks on my youtube channel as well and you guys love them which is great i love sharing those with you guys but recently i finished daredevil and punisher and when i finished daredevil i was like i have to wait now to see more matt murdoch so i was on etsy shopping for my dad actually to get him a christmas present and i found myself something so i bought myself <laughs> two marvel shirts from a etsy shop called marvel i think i don't remember the shop's name but i will link it down below i got myself this murdoch shirt and it says established in 1985 and it says hell's kitchen i got it with matt's iconic black suit hashtag black suit supremacy i freaking love this suit compared to the other suits and i also got myself a barnes shirt with the winter soldier established in 1917 and it says the avengers on it I have this thing with the Winter Soldier. I understand he's a, like a murderer and stuff, but like, listen. I can forgive him for what he's done. That's all I'm gonna say. I absolutely love Bucky. I love Matt. So I had to get myself the, those shirts. They're just amazing. I love them. And they're so comfortable too. I love them so much. Okay, so those were the non-bookish items. So now let's get in to the October 2022 Fairy Loot box. So I already opened the box when it came in and the theme for October was Sell Your Soul. So this is the spoiler card and this is the bookmark that matches with it it's so pretty so first up we've got this canvas basket inspired by once upon a broken heart by stephanie garber it says heroes don't get happy endings they give them to their people i really love these basket baskets i actually am using one right now to store a few other fairy loot items it's on this desk i just gotta figure out where i'm gonna put this one i think it's brilliant for just storage purposes I love it a lot. Next, we have these big socks inspired by the Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. I love them because they're longer and they're like super thick. So I'm excited to, to wear these because it's getting really cold here right now. It's actually gloomy today, which I love this type of weather, but I'm excited to wear those ones. Next, we have a House Moving Castle inspired foiled art print it's so beautiful i love this so freaking much i'm debating if i want to hang it up i do have a place in my little binder photo binder and that fairy Lou gave us a few months ago but this is like it's so pretty and i loved how's moving castle that i did want to hang it up i'm just like where i might frame it if i'm being honest if i can find a frame i'm definitely framing this next we have princess of souls by alexander christo so this month did come with two books and this was the second book and it came with orange solid sprayed edges and it was also signed as well Aww. and it says a girl cursed for eternity a boy on a quest for vengeance there are many who believe they can cheat death when they fail i take their souls 
every single one. This sounds super cool. I do want to try and get to it. I don't know. I was excited when I opened the box and I saw this. I keep like I don't want to say that I'm gonna get to it because like let's be honest I don't but it's exciting I do want to see if I can at least start it before the end of the year if I could that'd be great but I love the cover of it I love I love the design it's beautiful I don't like this though <laughs> I don't like that if that was gone it would have been perfect but nonetheless I'm excited and then these were the tarot cards these guys were in the Sky at the series by Neil Schusterman. They are Rowan and Citra from the Ark of the Scythe series. And then finally, we had the Book of the Month, which was One Dark Window by Rachel Gillick. I just love the dark blue and then like the gold foils right here on the edges. And there's a spine. Here's the back. Again, it would have been perfect if these weren't there. And then it had dark green solid sprayed edges this is the artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket which is beautiful as always and then this is what the book looks like naked this is the front this is the spine and then this is the back so beautiful and this is the front end papers I'm trying so hard not to crack the spine and here is the back end papers and then here is the art print with the letter from the author on the back. This book of the month was not signed, but we did get the second book signed, which was still pretty cool. So that was October's Fairy Loot 2022 box. So let's get into the other books. For my graduation present, a good family friend of mine got me Smart Brevity by Jim Vandy High, Mike Allen, and Roy Schwartz. And they also got me Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte and I wanted to read these because he said that you can learn a lot from these and he got them for me and I'm so excited because now I can finally get into it. I haven't picked them up though because of school. I've been too focused on just grinding and trying to get all of that stuff out of the way. So once school is over, I I want to dive into it. I don't have to like do it, like read it in one sitting. I just want to read it. I'm going to take my time with it. I want to read it. I'm excited. And I love learning new things. So if he says he learned something, then I know I'm going to learn a lot. So definitely grateful that they got me this. And I can't wait to get into it. The next book I have here is another fairy loot book. This is Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. And we have dark blue here, orange here and a little ombre. I love this ombre. It also comes with a ribbon bookmark. This is the art print with the letter from the author. This is what the book looks like naked. Just absolutely stunning. Literally so freaking beautiful. This is what the inside looks like. This is the front end paper. And this is the back end paper so beautiful i love i also love the ribbon bookmark in it as well i i love ribbon bookmarks and i also am, i'm loving this whole like redesign thing that they're doing with the with the books when they're naked i love it so freaking much i have another fairy loot book this is belladonna by adeline grace and this is the front here is the spine and the back the back says your name is no curse little bird I just like the taste of it. And then we've got, is this considered like lilac? Is lilac? I don't want to say lilac. I'm just gonna say light purple. We've got this like little light purple. And then we've got this beautiful stenciled. Oh, so pretty. Then we have the art with the letter from the author. And then we have the book Naked. Oh, so freaking cool. And then here is the front end paper. And then here is the back of the end papers. And then I believe this one is signed. I am more than positive. Yep, Belladonna is signed. There's the little signature. I wanted to read Belladonna in October because it just, it screams like dark academia vibes. And I love those type of vibes in October specifically. 
I am sad I didn't get to it, but I'm really excited. I do like this is beautiful. I love this book so freaking much. I'm excited. I can't wait to get to it. And I'm just, it's just so pretty. It's so freaking pretty. I love, love it. And we have one more Fairy Loot book, and then it goes straight into the book outlet haul. I bought myself The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim. This one has the dark solid purple. I missed out on the stenciled edge, which is, it's okay, I guess. And this is my favorite part. Look at this. This is the reversible dust jacket. It's so pretty. And then we also have the foil embossing on the cover. This is the freaking, that's the spine and then there's nothing on the back. So for those of you who don't know, for some reason, I just have an impulse of buying Elizabeth Lim special edition fairy loot books. I haven't read an Elizabeth Lim book yet. And I have the, I have the Spin the Dawn duology. I have six crimson cranes, but that came in a fairy loot box. And I also found myself the dragon's promise. I haven't even read the dragon's promise. And this is a sequel to six crimson cranes. I just bought it for myself and it came a few days ago. So those are all of the fairy loot books. I'm more than positive those were all the fairy loot books. So let's go into the book outlet haul. Up first, I have Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Lovenseller. I've seen this all over Book Talk and I'm just kind of intrigued. I want to see what the hype is all about. So I did buy it. And it says, readers should rejoice because we now have a Lady Jack Sparrow on our hands. And this is by Anna Banks, the best-selling author of the Sirena Legacy. I've never heard of that. But yeah, I, I really just bought it because I've seen it all over TikTok and I was like, okay, let's give it a try. And yeah let's let's see what the hype's about i really hope i'm not disappointed and then i finally got my hands on serpent and dove and blood and honey by shelby moroni i have been wanting to read this series for such a freaking long time and i found the box set on book outlet and this was what sold me and this was like i was like okay we're going hit proceed to check out so yeah, if it wasn't for this, I probably wouldn't have gotten all of the books, but I'm so excited. I've been wanting to read Serpent and Dove for such a long, long time, and I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Next, I have Beast Boy Loves Raven by Kami Garcia and Gabrielle Pilico. This is a graphic novel. I loved Teen Titans Beast Boy, and I love Teen Titans Raven. I love Gabriel's artwork i follow him on instagram i i just love it so much and i love the teen titans so i'm just like i'm so excited to get to this one now i'm gonna probably finish this in one sitting i i, re I read all of these graphic novels in one sitting but i'm excited i again i love gabriel's artwork and when i found out that he was making a teen titan series i was so excited and I think Teen Titans Robin is coming out next year. I have been excited to get my hands onto Beast Boy Loves Raven so freaking much. They're like my favorite couple in the in the DC universe. And so I'm excited. I'm really happy. Next I have Wrath and Mercy by Jessica Rubinkowski, I think is how you pronounce her name. This is the second book to the Bright and the Pale series. Um, I haven't read Bright and Pale yet. I just bought it because again, impulsive buy i do have the fairy loot edition to bright and the pale so yeah it says to save her world she must sacrifice everything she loves we love it when people have to sacrifice everything that they love in order to save an entire world i'm excited to get into the bright and the pale i was hoping to get to it this year but again shit happens so we'll see maybe next year but i did get the second book just in case and if there's a sequel to a fairy loot book and it's on book outlet i try and just buy it because usually i like the fairy loot books so yeah i love how i say that and i've only read like one of the fairy loot books that i've ever bought what the hell next i bought the second and third book to the crown of feathers series it is a trilogy I don't know which one is the second one. Okay, I don't know if this is the second one, but we've got Heart of Flames by Nikki Paolo Preto, and then we also got Wings of Shadow. 
dude, these things are humongous. They're so huge. I haven't even read Crown of Feathers yet, and I bought the rest of the series. So we're not going to talk about that. I don't even know what Crown of Feathers is about. <laughs> I bought that book, like, a long time ago. <laughs> but now I have the whole series, so hopefully I can get out of this reading slump. But yes, I also found those a book outlet. I found... I think it was Heart of Flames. Book Outlet was selling the paperback version. And if you know me, if I have one book hardcover and it's the first book, the rest of the series needs to be hardcover. So when I saw that there was a limited stock on the hardcover, I just put it in the cart, bought it, along with Serpent and Dove. So I honestly, I got lucky with that pile because the, the books I just showed you, those all came in one box. Usually I'm not that lucky when it comes to Book Outlet. It, like, it comes sporadically, but I got, again, I got so freaking lucky. Both of those were hardcover. Serpent and, Serpent and Dove with Blood and Honey, the box set. Then I got Daughter of the Pirate, Pirate King. So Beast Boy Loves Raven. So I, again, I got super, super lucky with that haul. So this is the second and the last Book Outlet haul, but... I got Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi. I loved Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi, so I wanted to give Permanent Record a try. I did have my eyes on it for quite a while, and I needed one more book to get the free shipping, so it was actually Permanent Record. So I went ahead and got it, and I'm excited for it. And I don't know what this book is about, I really don't. Then again, I didn't know what Emergency Contact was about, I just went into it blindly and I loved it. So I'm gonna do the same thing with permanent record one of the things with me and like books i tend to not read the synopsis i usually go based off of my favorite like booktubers or book talk if my favorite booktuber says oh i read this book and it was super super good i usually trust their judgment because i end up liking the book as well so that's what i did with permanent record with hk Choi, and i loved it so that's what we're gonna do or not permanent record with emergency contact that's what I'm gonna do with permanent record. The less I know, I feel like the better because then I don't set my expectations to an unrealistically high point. I like to lower them just so I'm not disappointed. Next, we have You've Reached Sam by Dustin Thal. This book I have been wanting for such a long time and when I saw it on Book Outlet, I immediately put it in my cart. I hope I cry. I know that S Sam passes away and she gets a phone call from him, I believe. And it's Sam on the other line, but he's dead. Something like that. Let's see if You've Reached Sam can make me cry. For those of you who don't know, I have yet to read a book that has made me cry physical tears. I have teared up, but I've never like physically cried. So who knows? Maybe You've Reached Sam will be the one. Because it's it has yet to happen. The next book I got was The Phone Booth at the Edge of the World by Laura Imani Messina. It says, when Yui loses her mother and daughter in the tsunami, she wonders how she will ever carry on and begins to mark time in relation to that terrible day in 2011. Yet in the face of this unthinkable loss, her life must somehow continue. Inspired by true events, The Phone Booth at the Edge of the World is a moving, unforgettable story about the depths of grief the lightness of love and the human longing to keep the people who are no longer with us close to our hearts. So when I found out it was also based off of true events, I kind of was more intrigued and it pushed me more to put it on my Amazon wish list. But then I saw it on Book Outlet, added it to the cart, and here we are. The next book I got was A Psalm of Storm and Silence by Rosine A. Brown. This is the second book to the Song of Rates and Ruin duology. I'm, I'm more than positive it's a duology. Um, I haven't read A Song of Rates and Ruin, but I did get that in a fairy loot box. Um, and again, impulsively bought the second book without knowing how I'm going to feel about the first one. Again, I have no idea what this book is about. I... Uh, I never know what the book is going to be about. Never. The next book I got was Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. Um, I have no idea what this is about either. <laughs> it just says the forest took everything from her. Now it's her only hope. I just really love the cover of this. And I remember Poston also wrote, what was it, Geekarella? I'm more, I'm more than positive she wrote Geekarella. And then the last book I have here is the sequel to The Prison Healer, which is The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni. 
I loved The Prison Healer. I read it last year. And when I saw this book, I was like, oh my god, we go we gonna get it today, folks. So I got it and I'm excited. I cannot wait to continue on with the series. I'm so excited. I don't remember where I left off, if I'm being honest with you, so I'm gonna have to watch a booktube video or something just to kind of refresh my memory all i remember is that i love the book the first one so i'm excited to get to the second book asap that was a lot um i'm finally done we are at 30 minutes right now and that is going to be one hell of a video for me to edit but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys do want to see more of me go ahead and follow me on my tiktok it's at sonia neverland i post a lot more on there than i do here on youtube if you do want to see more of me and whatnot go ahead and follow me there just a fair warning i do post mostly marvel content on my tiktok versus bookish but yeah once again thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next one bye